Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Analogy Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a stock that is ready to explode tomorrow and why you should keep it on your watch list. I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of our last video right after the intro. All right, y'all, before we begin, again, do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to our channel, all right? So let's get started. Right off the bat, we have the market right now. This is the SPY. I told y'all last week that I was, I was bullish on the market and I was looking for a move all the way up to 45.60. Um, it didn't quite make that entire move. It stopped at 49.50 and immediately continue to be choppy as you can see right now um this choppiness has been going on for quite some time um eventually it's gonna get out of there and it's gonna go all the way up to 45 60. i'm not bearish on the market right now even though it looks a bit it, it, it looks like it wants to drag its feet somewhere all right which wouldn't surprise me but by tuesday or by wednesday i do expect that 45 60 mark to get hit so keep your eyes out for that all right now for the stock for this video that y'all should be keeping in your watch list that stock is let me change this to the five that stock is nvda all right and the reason why i want to tell you that why i want to share the video with you guys is because of this if we take a look at the one we look very 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 closely right there is a very clear pattern that broke out of there on friday is right here all right it had a little fake out to trap the bears right over here and as soon as it started running past like 225 226 that's where we actually got in with calls averaging in slowly as it's behaving on the way up this move is not done yet it's definitely not done yet and get it since i'm not bearish on the market i do expect nvidia to go all the way up to at least 234 at most 236 on monday or tuesday all right so it still has room to go so that's the one the primary reason why i like the stock um another reason again if you look on the way here on the left hand side we got the news about an upgrade by other analysts. Again, these are just opinions from other traders and investors, just like I'm providing my very honest opinions on the stock. If you look closely, they're upgrading the price target to 260, which is not too far off, but I don't expect that within the next two weeks. I do not expect a big move like that. It's probably going to get there around like the end of the month. All right, but again, this video is for tomorrow slash this week. So just keep your eyes on the video for that move. Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. For those of y'all who have these wonderful questions all the time. Um, the first one is UPS. All right. And UPS, I'm not a fan of this stock. Like, I'm really, really not. Ever since this drop happened, it's been fakey. It's been... It's been very difficult to uh, to know exactly which direction it's gonna go. I don't like the choppiness over here. All right, and it's not going it's not going too far. It's literally just chilling in this box, and there isn't that there, there isn't too much money to be made on here. I don't know how long it's gonna chill in here. There's a gap over here at two ten, and there's also a gap below at one one eighty so in regards to swing trading like if you're looking to just buy swing and hold for like weeks on now you never know whether we're going to have a huge spike up or a huge spike down first you don't know that i don't know that right and for that reason i'm not touching the stock because it's, it's pretty much a guessing game on which gap is going to get filled first and i'm not interested in guessing with my money so if i don't know i'm not gonna trade it so that's my very honest opinion on that one um, be very very careful again for short-term traders be very careful placing puts on this one and also be cautious placing calls i wouldn't be surprised if you just go over here sideways and go nowhere and then when the overall market wants to have like a huge correction then i see this thing tanking but until then i'm not touching it um the next one that we're going to be talking about in this video that stock is actually a cheap one. Um, a lot of people like this one. It's charge points. 
all right and charge point has been beaten down by like i think this is by 60 percent by 55 percent over the last 240 days and it's just chilling sideways right now and honestly like i would not be mad if we just get chilling over here for like another two months i would like to see that i don't have high hopes for the stock um, i'm not invested in the stock right but the way it's looking right now i'm just gonna be patient and wait and see what it does i don't think it's gonna get out of this zone right here it's gonna trade in here maybe it might get out here and then get back right in right but it's gonna trade in there for a long time therefore i am not touching it all right regardless of what may be fundamentally good about the company if i don't see a structure i like i'm not gonna trade it so that's my very honest opinion on charge points the next one that we're going to address in this video that stock is pfizer all right and somebody asked about pfizer not too long ago it had a monster move along with the other vaccine stocks right and then this retracement which is kind of similar to bntx which i shared with you guys last week so congrats to anybody who made money on that prior to friday because friday was the day where um, short sellers gonna back their bags and left and at least it looks like it from the way i'm looking at the chart we're gonna look at bntx quick but as for as for pfizer there's a bunch of dip buyers here which gives me the impression that um this is a clean reversal there's some dip buyers here and other dip buyers at these bottom wicks if it opens up higher there's gonna be a huge candle going all the way up to like 47 maybe to 48 dollars so just just watch out for that all right if it opens higher short sellers who are expecting a little dead cat bounce for a continuation down are going to be petrified and this thing is gonna squeeze so just keep that in mind i'm on the sidelines on pfizer i am watching it as well i am neutral on it until tomorrow so tomorrow should be an exciting day for the stock all right um and again i mentioned bntx earlier and bntx is is looking a bit weird i drew this thing out and i'm like mm, i don't think i like this one very much i think i would like more consolidation but here's the reason why i say that the short sellers pack their bags as you can see like this is short sellers covering after a long period of downtrending all right um i thought it would break below uh 330 which it did but it didn't go low enough like all the way to 300 which i would have loved right which all of the short sellers would have liked but as of right now it's just it, it's it's just too is, is too uncertain therefore i'm not shorting the stock anymore i'm just i'm not shorting the stock at all actually um i'm just patiently waiting on the sidelines and i'm waiting for a move up i'm still long on um novavax and novavax i shared that one with you guys last week and it bounced off of a previous level of supports and i'm not bearish on it the structure is still there i still think it's gonna get to 270 at least maybe higher um, so I'm still keeping my contract on that one until the stock misbehaves or until I see another opportunity that I feel like maybe I should put my money there. So as for Novavax, my thoughts and opinions are not changing. I'm still holding that, that call on Novavax. All right. Um, the next one that we're going to be talking about in this video, that stock is R O K U Roku and Roku roku is just is 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 terrible right first it has this breakout and then it immediately gives it all back which was kind of aggravating i lost money on this drop right here i got in right there and i was looking for a move higher and it immediately tanked out the gates and i had to get out somewhere around like 259 or 260 and it kept going even lower so it's a very aggravating stock to trade so be careful with this one how long is it gonna keep going sideways like that and annoying everybody i'm not sure again i'm on the sidelines on it as well um there could be a chance for a morning star if it opens back up at 348 so keep your eyes on that if it opens at 348 there could be a big move coming up to make that morning star complete so just just keep your eyes on it all right i i, I have it i look at it every single day i'm just patiently waiting for 
the opportunity to get in for an easy play on Roku. It is down from the highs of 440, all right? And it has a lot of time and a lot of room until the next earnings report. So just, just keep your eyes out on that one as well, all right? And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, it helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on future uploads. If you'd like to be part of a private Discord community, you can find that as the very first link in the description of the video below. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul and Guma and at Pedanology Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is brand new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, I left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below, step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 right after you sign up with Webull using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Pedanology Lab where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, all right? Enjoy the outro.